All right, in this video segment, check patient. Sorry about that. In this video segment, we're gonna go over how to defib a patient who is in a shockable rhythm. So I get on scene, I have a full arrest. I have a patient who's in either VTAC or VFib, but pulseless. So we're doing um, CPR on them. As soon as I get the pads on the patient and I recognize that it's a shockable rhythm, I should go ahead and defibrillate that patient. So for this LifePak 15, the manufacturer recommendation is that I defib at 200, 300, and then 360. So let's go ahead and go through that process. So for this monitor, it's automatically going to charge 200. I can see up there in the corner, it says 200. Um, so I can actually without, I can skip my energy select and I can just go ahead and go straight to charge, which allows me to do this faster. I'm clear, you're clear, we're all clear. Go ahead and hit the shock button. Shock is delivered. And then we'll go ahead and resume CPR. Now I'm going to give it a second for my alarms to go off so I can reset those. All right. So patient. Now I have um, my patient. Sorry. I'm going to just go ahead and turn that off. So I have my patient. We're doing our two rounds of CPR. Sorry, it's going to keep alarming at me because it's venting that the patient is pulseless. Um, I'm going to do my two rounds of CPR, or sorry, five cycles of CPR, which is going to be two minutes, and I want to go ahead and shock again. So with the LifePak 15, now our LifePak 12s do not do this in the classroom, but with the 15, it's automatically going to shock my rhythm, my shocks. So as you can see up here in the corner, it's already changed from 200 to 300. So all I have to do again is go ahead and hit charge. And it's going to charge up to that 300. I'm clear, you're clear, we're all clear. Go ahead and hit the shock button. Resume CPR. We're going to do our five cycles of CPR or two minutes. Go ahead and get those antiarrhythmics, um, that epinephrine, all the medications, uh, different uh, interventions we want to do during our cycles of CPR. And after two minutes, I'm going to do another pulse check, rhythm check. I still have VFib on my monitor, so I want to shock this patient. And as you can see, my life pack has automatically upped my joules to 360, and it'll stay at 360 for the rest of the time. So again, I can skip this energy select. Now, if your monitor doesn't automatically stack your shocks and up that joule setting every single time, you can hit energy select and then just select your energy. Um, but since this is already stacking it for me, I can just go ahead and hit charge. I'm clear, you're clear, we're all clear of the patient. And go ahead and check. 